So hello everyone. I'm uh, making this quick video because I've seen some stuff online where people have asked some questions about how to hook up the water. So these are the late 90s model uh, Kawasaki jet skis. They're actually Kawasaki brand jet ski and these are the XTI 700s. We have, uh, we have two of them and here's the twin carb 750 so I was wrong about the 700 they're 750s they are Kawasaki jet ski XTI 750s um, but basically I wanted to show where you hook up the water if you want to run the engine on land so if you don't have water like in this instance uh, you can see I got some jumper cables connected here I've got them connected to a 12 volt car battery and I've taken my battery out um, the battery on this one was going dead and I just wanted to make sure uh, that it was the battery. I've got the battery on a charger and uh, I'm just uh, verifying that the battery is dead. Most likely it is because that battery's been in here for quite many years. But anyway, so uh, I think I have a dead battery on it. But to crank it, I just put it on some jumper cables and uh, put it on a 12 volt battery. But um, so basically here's the engine and uh, here's the exhaust manifold and the way these two strokes work is uh, water is pumped in and it's spit out through the exhaust manifold but it is it's sucked in through the bottom but this hose right here as you can see it connects to the top of the motor here this hose right here is what moves the water through the engine and then is it's expelled out the exhaust manifold and then it spits out the exhaust so um, that's what keeps it quieter when it's in the water but the purpose of this video is to show you where you hook up your water. So in this, on these specific jet skis we have, we didn't add this kit. This was something that was already on, um, on these jet skis. And basically there is a uh, nozzle here. So you take, you loosen this, uh, this pipe clamp and uh, pull it up a little bit. And then there's a little, a little, clasp here a little rubber clasp portion of that anyways you undo that you pull this off and you've got this nozzle um, so this as you can see I, I cranked it up just a minute ago but it's smoking a little bit that's from the exhaust but that is where you would put your water hose fitting now you can buy a kit uh, I think from Kawasaki I'm gonna show you that real quick or you can do like I did sorry video and take a, an old water hose actually this wasn't that old of a water hose but it was one i didn't care about and i cut the end off of it so it's literally just the end of a water hose with no fitting on it um so this fitted this water hose which i think it's five eighths size i don't know but most any of them should fit sorry most any of them should fit so you take this end of the water hose you cut off you push it over the nozzle there you can put a pipe clamp on it if you want but this size hose fits on there very well and I can turn the water hose all the way up and it doesn't squirt it off but basically there's where your water hookup is um, if you have this port this uh, this fitting now I've heard some people don't have this fitting where it has the auxiliary port on it uh, and if it doesn't then this would just be a straight in fitting here and then the water going in you would have to take this off here and put this kind of fitting and they sell these fittings um, I've seen them online where you can add the extra the water hose but I'm pretty sure this one was uh, standard with this vehicle here now the other tip is is you don't want to turn the water on before you crank it there is supposedly on these 90s models jet skis and I don't know if it would specifically affect this one but supposedly on the older jet skis is if you turn the water on before you crank the motor that you can actually push water back into the engine and it would go into some places or something where water doesn't supposed to be i don't know 100 percent why that is i just have heard don't do it so to be on the safe side i've always cranked the engine and then turned on the water now this is cooling right you're not like this is not like lubricant or something this is to actually keep your your engine cooled so it's not a problem to crank it and run it for a couple seconds you're in your engine's not going to go from you know 70 degrees or 80 degrees whatever it is outside automatically to 250 degrees within a second you know it's going to take a little bit of time to get that hot so you have enough time to crank the engine let it idle for a second and then go kick the water on 
Uh, now I've always put the water on pretty much full blast. I don't think that's a problem. Again, I've heard some people say, don't, don't turn it up full blast. You that too much pressure, whatever. I don't know, but I've never had a problem with it. Um, but you may want to look into that. But the main purpose of this video was to show people, Hey, this is where you connect it. And if you don't have this fitting that already has something blocking it off right this has to be on there to keep water from spraying out crazy inside of your engine compartment but if you don't have something that already has a fitting like this then you're going to need to find some kind of fitting like this uh you probably would have just a straight fitting or an elbow fitting to go with this hose which would push the water through the exhaust but you you need to add uh, some kind of auxiliary uh, port like this to do the water but again i'm pretty positive this is from the factory i could be wrong uh, we are the second owners but we bought these jet skis um, from the first owner and you know they we've had them for quite a while so um you know i don't i don't I don't think he put that on there. Honestly, knowing the first owner, I couldn't imagine him putting that on there unless he paid somebody to do it. So anyways, uh, that's just it. That's, like I said, these are 90s model. I think these are 97 or 98s. Heck, they could be 99s for all I know, but something like that. Uh, but they are the Kawasaki Jet Ski brand X or ZXI 750s. And that's what it looks like. That's where you put your water. So... Uh, good luck. Hopefully this helps somebody out there that was wondering where they hook up their water. Thanks, everyone.